No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed we were being scrutinized as someone with a microscope studies creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Few men even considered the possibility of life on other planets. And yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours regarded this Earth with envious eyes. And slowly and surely, they drew their plans against us. Disillusionment and decay is over. I have never before witnessed a mass telepathic execution, but today the remnants of our society have displayed their disheartenment and desperation. They have judged the senior elder to be ineffectual and have terminated his appointment in the harshest manner. The gravity of our situation is extreme. Mars is incapable of sustaining life. Our efforts to maintain the biosphere are exhausted. The water tables and temperature decrease annually, as does our population. The only consequential course of action is the conquest and occupation of Earth, our young sunward neighbor. Is abundant with life and resources are bountiful. The environment will seem uncomfortable, but not inhibitive. The problem is, of course, the humans. They have developed primitive intelligence, yet their society is structured around perpetual conquest and conflict, a rapid offensive to their social and economic heart should prevent any significant opposition. The means and methods for this attack are already being realized. A large-scale hydrogen accelerator will be constructed. This will launch suspension pods carrying the assault forces. We have not had the need for such destructive weaponry in over 5,000 years, but modifications to our current technologies will take place and should prove adequate to defeat the inferior human defenses. Given that the pod launch cycle was one Earth day, the first 
has already arrived and is commencing the invasion. Contact has been re-established with the first pod. I must report unfortunate news. The attack has proven miscalculated. The Earth's atmosphere was entered without incident. But the force of the collision and the far greater gravity have proved disorientating. I opened the seals. Many humans had gathered around, and the proximity of these hideous creatures made me aware of our vulnerability. So, I cleansed the area. set to work constructing the weaponry and proceeded to attack the human forces in our vicinity. We have destroyed many of them, but although their weaponry is primitive, we greatly underestimated the strength of their numbers. Success is no longer assured. I do not think that... What is happening? There is no signal. Perhaps the pod has been destroyed. This is unacceptable. The humans must be more powerful than we realized. A more secure center of operations should be created to coordinate our forces. All pods must be redirected to a more secure location. Understood. Research orders have been sent. Receiving. The Copper Forge refines materials needed for our manufacturing facilities. The heavy element facilities produce isotopes used in the power units of our vehicles. The farms process human blood for our forces. supplies energy to our defenses. Channel receive awaiting command. Yes. The rapid heat ray provides limited firepower over a small area, but its simple design allows fast construction for defense. Items designed to repel enemy attacks. Receiving. The handling machine is a versatile tool 
used to construct, repair, and generally maintain our facilities. Channel receiving. The digging mechanism is specifically designed to quickly move the thick, heavy earth soil. Complying. Receiving. The fighting machine is our primary attack weapon. It has a forward-mounted heavy heat ray, a light canister launcher, and is shielded with enough armor to repel most projectile weapons. This combination of firepower, armor, and speed allow it to cut through most enemy opposition. Channel receiving. The scout machine is a light and fast attack vehicle. It has thin shielding and only a light heat ray, but its high speed and maneuverability allow it to provide quick support and reconnaissance. Another pond has successfully penetrated the Earth's atmosphere. Receiving. Come on. 